today we are headed to the Pretty Care Pretty store. <laughs> I am so excited. I am a humongous fan of Pretty Care. And so yesterday was the first time we tackled the train system and I feel confident enough because although it is like a 20 minute ride and that sounds really scary, it's just, you, we just get on and like get off. There's no scary transfers or anything. So yeah, come along with us. It will be fun as heck. Here is my bag I am taking. I'm trying to make it sort of like an Eda bag. Not really because I can't like put buttons in it. I'm sure I'll make another Eda bag. But there's a little Cure Whip and then there's Go Princess Precure, Dress Up Keys, and there's Doki Doki Precure and Happiness Charge Precure Keychains. And there's a Lingle Stone and that's Sailor Moon but I put it there because it's pretty. And I have like a Pretty Care Doki Doki Precure Era magazine in the back. And my Care Bear what is it? So we headed off from Harajuku Station to Tokyo Station. Um, I was incredibly terrified of the train system heading into Japan and I thought like we were gonna get so lost and never be able to find anything but actually I enjoyed it so much and we only got lost once which you will see in actually the next vlog. Um, but yeah it was really really enjoyable and we made it to Tokyo Station here. Um, even before we found the Pretty Cure store, there were Pretty Cure hints of things. There's actually a Peace Game Usagi pop-up shop, which is super lucky because they are my favorite characters. Are you excited? What are you excited about? Apparently she's excited about this. Uh, I am going to voice over this part because they were playing the um, openings and ending themes and also like the movie trailer and I really don't want to get copyrighted but for those of you who don't know what Pretty Cure is, it is a magical girl meta series. Um, also, I will voice over so you can't hear me badly singing very softly. Um, it is a really long Precure series where every year the characters are renewed, but it's the same sort of um, story. Um, and it's been going since 2004, I want to say, with Hutariwa. Everything's a blur. Time's an illusion. So it's just a really, really amazing Magical Girl series that has meant a lot to me. It really does preach, like friendship and girl power and love and acceptance and working together and it's just freaking amazing. Um, as of right now I've watched every single Pretty Cure series except for like half of Max Heart and then Splash Star and then Bish I am complete. Um, although it is a series that is mostly targeted towards children and it's super popular here in Japan among children, it's really not that popular over in the West, at least that I've found. Not in the mainstream, like it definitely has its own um, fandom. Um, you guys should check out the Precure Central community, which is really, really fun. It's like a little messaging um, board for people who love Precure and there's a stream of the episode every Saturday. But yeah, I, I was having a lot of trouble finding other people who were as into Pretty Cure as I was until I found the community, so that is really awesome. And just being in Japan and seeing all of the Pretty Cure things, I know it sounds silly because it's just an anime, but like, man, oh man, <laughs> man, I cried so many times. It was just amazing. And this store was fantastic. There's a couple of other Pretty Cure store locations. The HQ, like the main one, is in Osaka, but this is the Tokyo Station location, the station location. Um, you can recognize it from the really pretty like rainbow glass um, tiles if you're trying to find out what the store looks like on um, like Google Images because they all kind of look similar, but this one has a really pretty um, glass pattern. And it was a really nicely sized store. I was really afraid it would go, oh no, oh look at that, oh no. I was really afraid it was gonna be like small or sad or like literally only cure, cure, break your element mode. But I was really pleasantly surprised. They had quite a few things from different series. Um, there were a couple of All Stars items. I kind of wish there were more All Stars items, but I mean, I expected it to be like almost exclusively Cure Cure Breaker, so it was nice to see some happiness charge. Um, and they had like all stars keychains and that sort of thing. 
I ended up spending like $180. And then, which I will explain in my little post store vlog, I ended up spending like $30 more to get a freaking item for, oh, just kill me. But I really don't regret it. I saved up to be able to do this and it was a ton of fun. It was just a wonderland. Ugh, I wish I could go back one day. Maybe one day. I wish I could go back every year, every time there's a new series, because the whole store will change to be like primarily that series. But yeah, that was my pretty cute, pretty store visit. Look at her go. There was also a Pisuke and Usagi um, pop-up shop, which I mentioned briefly from the sign. Um, and this was super duper exciting because they're actually by a Korean artist, so I didn't expect to see a ton of them in Japan. But I think they have line stickers. They also have Facebook stickers, which is like exclusively what I use to communicate. I just love them so much. They are so precious. Um, I actually posted on Facebook like months and months ago asking people where I would be able to find Peace Gain Usagi goods. So finding the pop-up shop was very much a blessing. I purchased many a good, mostly for my friends. <laughs> it's just so cute. I also got, I was looking and looking to find a pass case for my Suica pass for the freaking train. And I like couldn't find one that was cute enough or good enough or freaking, I don't know, I have high standards for these things. And then I purchased this little Pisuke plushie and I was like, uh, I really like it, but is it a good idea? I like was almost feeling guilty because it was like 19 bucks for this little plush. And then after I got home, bitch, after I got back to the Airbnb, I realized that it is a Suica pass. So not only was my purchase now very much worth it, but double whammy there, don't even need a pass anymore. <laughs> got it. <laughs> we are done at Tokyo Station. And we are headed back to our Airbnb. And we are sleepy, but it is nice. We found this really cute park, or it's a, what is it, a nature grove that is like right beside our Airbnb. Look! Oh, it's really, really cute. Let's walk down the cheeky path. And there's a little city place where you can sit. There's a security camera. Hello. Oh, cute. Oh, I like it. Oh, pleasant. Trees. Trees. It's a cheeky pond with some buckets in it. There's a bird that's yelling. Several rocks. Happy children. What more could you want? I want to see if he'll say yaw again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Look at that lens flare. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Look, the sakura is starting to bloom. Oh my god. It's only March. What, like? Um, 10th? 10th. Oh, yay! Happy, 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 lucky, lucky. Look at these ones! Oh, they're so pretty! And there's like literal straight up bamboo right there in the middle of the city. Is that weird to me? Or am I ignorant? Am I ignorant for thinking that that's really cool? That's awesome. We are back. I am using the little gorilla tripod for the first time. Does it work? I'm backlit. Is that fun and funky or is it just bad? We will find out. So yeah, we got back from Character Street. I don't totally remember what I bought, um, which is kind of a thrilling adventure. I was so excited in the Pretty Gear store that I've, I was kind of just like, like putting things in my basket, like it's singing to the music very softly and being like, ah, ah, ah. So I got to the register and my purchase was, I think, 187-ish equivalent in yen. Um, and I was like, awesome, let's go. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, do you want a stamp card? And I was like, 
high to the yeah. So she gave me the stamp card and stamped like all of the things except two. And she was like, if you spend 20 more dollars, completely in Japanese, she did not speak any English. And I was just like, I understand, but I'm afraid. Um, 20 more dollars, then you get a free gift and bish. I love Pretty Cure and I recognize that they need to cater to their audience and cater to what is going to bring them money because it is a company. However, I love my All-Stars goods. There were not many All-Stars goods, which I expected. There were actually some happiness charge things, which was cooler than I thought. And then they did have like All-Stars keychains, but the special gift was a pretty cute towel. Where is it? So I had to spend 20 more dollars to get the towel. And also it was just kind of a challenge. She was like, like, do you want to be the queen of the pretty gear store or not? And I was like, well, I'm not a fool. So it's all of the all stars from the past 8 billion years from Hitariwa to Kira Kira Pretty Kira Aramodo. I love them. They're my children. I will never use this on my face. I'm gonna give you a speedy haul so you still have a reason to watch the other video lol. But here's the bag. He's a big boy bag. Another, she like folded up another plastic bag and put it in there just because she loves me. So I have a fresh unused Pretty Gear Store bag. And then in this bag is the item I used to spend $20 more, which is a Cure Macaron shirt. I really hope these fit. Um, I asked her if they were adult. She said yes. It's an adult medium. Hopefully it will fit. It, it's a t-shirt. I can't imagine it. Usually I'm a small and like boxy t-shirts, but woo. And then in that bag, <laughs> it's my big boy bag. I'm really glad I like the current series. I was like, because oh, we were traveling um, March 1st and the new series started February 5th. So it was like, I really hope I like the new series. And I do, it's very nice. I got a Cure Whip Tsum Tsum type thing with little beans. I got Cure Cure Pre Cure La Mode barrettes. I got a tiny Cure Whip um, iron on badge, which is cute. I got Cure Whip and Pecorin iron on badges. I got Pretty Cure stickers, this is one thing I knew I wanted going in because I want to put them on my clear bag and make it kind of like, or I might get another clear bag to make it like my Eda bag. I didn't get buttons though because the buttons were like kind of big and weird. I got a Pecorine plush to match my um, Ichika plush. I got this like little dumb kid wallet because I thought it would be cute hanging off of like another bag. Because I want to do a pretty cure cord for the show tomorrow and forever. So it's like a little baby wallet. But I like it. It's shiny. It has all the girls. I got... Oh, are these plastic? Okay, good. I got a mini tumbler set. I got, bitch, something I was looking for like a year ago. Um, My partner and I and my mom all went through this phase of doing puzzles together all night. Not all night. Three in the morning puzzle fest um, every night because we are all soft fuzzy introverts and I was looking for a pretty cure puzzle to do and I was looking online but they were all like pretty much definitely off brand like knockoff and like usually 300 pieces 500 piece puzzle beige I like the 1000 pieces but this is pretty good for like a kids show puzzle to be 500 pieces and it's really cute. It's got Kyo Mohurun, Kyo Miracle, Kyo Magikaru, and Kyo Hurich. And like other things from the movie I haven't seen yet. I was in like, I was too excited. I was just like, I'm never going to be here again. I'm going to put whatever I want in my basket. Like this is, I've been wanting to do this for years and I will never be back here again. So I went a bit ham. I got a... Kira Kira Pretty Cure Elmo towel. Actually, that's a really cute. That's cuter than I thought. Look, Mom, do you approve? It's awesome. <laughs> like it. Amazing. Give me another adjective. Wonderful. Thank you. Cute. <gasps> awesome. The words keep coming, my gal. And then I have my Cure Whip shirt, which is the first shirt I got, and then I got the other one. Um, 
if they fit, I want my mom and I to match tomorrow. That would be so fun. And I got this quilted bag again for a cord to hang from another bag. Just to have as many pretty care faces on my outfit happening as possible. And I got this I'm really excited for because it comes with a scrunchie. This is like a hair accessory set. There's a baller scrunchie bitch. There's a comb bitch. There's a bag bitch. There's a little pecker and hair elastics. B word. And I just got it for the scrunchie, but. And the pouch is cute too. Last thing. Last item. I also bought pretty cute things at Kitty Land. Like I'm just counting it. Like I'm out of control. I actually don't. I I have budgeted to spend my money. Actually, I budgeted myself to spend $300 in the Pretty Cute Pretty store. And I gave myself a highball budget because I just wanted to not feel like I had to think about money, which is why it took me so fucking long to go on this trip because I wanted to make sure I could just kind of like not freak out. Um, and I only spent 200 so. <laughs> oh, doing good. And I got this mug. I'm gonna actually do a little cheeky close. Oh, isn't it sweet? I know I have too many mugs, Mom. But uh -huh. I know I need to many. purge. I know. No, well, like, I only have a few of my personal muggies. It's so cute. Oh my gosh! I didn't know that it has, like, this etched on it. Oh, I don't think you can see it. Even, like, in the glaze, there's the girls over the whole thing. You really cannot see that. I'd have to, like, shine it in the light. But blah, 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 blah. this was this itself was, like, $20, so spare me out. But, yes, please also stay tuned for a high-quality haul when I get home with good lighting and niceness and not, like, my skirt in a lump in the corner. Music